Hi everybody, and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. Straightforward question. Do you think that the people who are childless should work more so that people that do have children could spend more time with their families? This one's from user ThrowAwayLivid. When being child-free gets you extra 40 hours a week of work. I need a place to rant, and I am so grateful for having this sub. I'm also using a throwaway for privacy reasons, as I'm about to throw shade. Background. I work for a huge corporation, and I'm a salaried employee, relevant later. My job is very project-based, and each employee works on their own projects most of the time. Today, our department manager booked a team meeting to discuss upcoming changes. Cool, no problem. At this meeting, we're presented with a memo outlining the changes in hours to be worked for November, possibly longer, as follows. Mandatory 8-8 to -8 work days every day including Saturdays, Sundays possible if deemed necessary. Except for team members who have children, their hours will remain 9-5 to -5 Monday through Friday. Manager finishes going over this and asks, any questions? Yes, I have a question. In what world did you think this would be okay? She explains that due to the situation in the last few months, we've fallen behind in projects as team members have to take care of their kids and work at the same time, so we have to pick up the slack. Me again. Based on our status meeting yesterday, the team members without kids are all on track with their projects, with many of us consistently finishing days before our deadlines. So, are you telling me that those of us who don't have kids have to work an additional 40 hours a week to complete projects for team members who won't even be helping finish said projects? She responds with, I'm struggling to understand why this is such a big issue for you. Excuse me, what? I ask my fellow child-free team members if they're okay with this. All of them say no. The ones with kids are completely silent, of course. I tell her that it's absolutely insane that she thinks this is even close to being okay. She just blinks at me. Then I ask her if she will also be working these hours with us. Of course it's a no. She has a child. An effing 18 year old mind you. I was ready to throw my laptop through the window at this point. She just ends the meeting. I'm fuming. I regroup with my fellow child-free team and we agreed that this isn't about to happen. I email the manager right after to let her know that we will be requesting a meeting with HR and legal department to discuss our employment contracts and hours we're being forced to work simply because we don't have kids. I know damn well this is effing insane and against all employment policies within the company. She proceeds to call me and tell me there is no need to go to HR and legal and we can resolve this internally. B. No we can't. You dismissed me and didn't even bother to listen to 12 other team members you plan to work to death without any sort of additional compensation. She then says, well, you're salaried so there's no need for additional compensation. If only I had the ability to choke her through the phone. I collect myself and tell her in the most professional way I could muster that we can discuss this with HR and legal and I end the call. I proceed to book a meeting with my child-free team, manager and HR legal for tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm downing a bottle of wine to calm myself. I might end up unemployed tomorrow, but I'm not letting this go. This is the hill I will die on. And rant. OP, you have absolutely every right to be angry and to go to HR and legal. What your manager is trying to get away with is disgusting. I understand that times are hard and that of course you want to promote work-life balance properly, but the way your manager is trying to do it is absolutely wrong. You don't abuse a part of the team to cover for the other part. That's just not right. But of course, that's just my opinion. So let's take a look at the few community comments we've got to see what they say about the situation and then we're going to move on with an update from OP to see how that meeting with HR and legal went. Cat Facts says, She doesn't have a child either if her child is 18. Hope she gets fired and you get promoted. Make sure that you tell her you tried to address this internally, but she ignored your and everybody else's complaints at the meeting, then ended the meeting. 
Later, she tried to discourage you from going to HR, which is set up exactly for this purpose. So you've lost confidence in her ability to manage a team. Madwins says, as someone who works in hiring and with HR, come prepared. Do not come to rant. Come with either meeting notes and or your email thread. Also, come with exactly what she was requesting and why, by showing who is on this extra work team and who is not and the difference. It's like saying they're black or white. Come showing how many extra hours a week this would be and how much overall versus the child team. And show your progress in your projects versus the child team. If they are competent corporate HR, this is the way to get a serious outcome. I am Tonks says, if they can't terminate someone for being pregnant, they can't make you work the equivalent of two full-time jobs for not having kids. What can your boss do if you literally refuse to work 12 hour days to get paid the same salary as someone with kids working less? OMG, I'm not getting the 1% raise I might have gotten if I worked 72 plus hour weeks. So sad. They wanted it done internally because they know this is an aft proposal. HR is for the company first. This has to violate all kinds of protections. Okay, so now that we know that the community is totally in line with OP, let's continue with the update to see how that meeting went. Some users asked what I do for work. I have to give a vague answer to this for privacy reasons. I work in the regulatory compliance department and our job is to monitor and enforce internal policies and laws and regulations at all levels within the company. Almost everyone requested an update, so I really hope this lives up to the hype. The meeting took place first thing in the morning with the manager, head of HR, another HR manager, two labor law attorneys from the legal department, head of my department, legal invited him on the fly this morning, and 13 CFs, child free, 12 co-workers and me. I started the meeting by explaining why we've gathered here today. Head of my department was downfounded. He clearly had no idea what the manager tried to pull. Legal went through the rules of discussion. Wait your turn to speak and such. I was first to make my case and my approach was simple. Show proof, show policy, explain why the policy was violated and therefore can't be enforced. Boring. Yes, I know. But if that didn't work, I had other points on reserve to bring up. Side note. I really wanted to go all out and lose my filter and say what I was really thinking, but as we all know, that would get me nowhere. So I presented the manager's memo and company's overtime policy, which clearly states that mandatory overtime must be 1. Mandatory for all members of the department, hourly and salaried. 2. All members must work equal numbers of overtime hours. And 3 must be approved by the head of the department. If any of these conditions are not met, management can't impose it and should ask for volunteers to work overtime instead. My argument was simple. Manager didn't follow the policy and purposefully targeted the child-free people. Highlights of the crap show that followed. 1. Legal asked head of my department if he approved the memo. Answer was an angry no. I could tell he was livid at the manager. In my head, I'm laughing my butt off. 2. Legal asks manager for her side of the story. Answer, I wasn't aware of this policy. I interject with, I find that hard to believe when three weeks ago we did an extensive review with that policy being the main objective and you were heavily involved with each step. Head of HR chimes in with, I can attest to that. I worked with the manager on this project. Let's be truthful, please. In my head, I'm screaming, take that, B. Manager says, well, I didn't think policy would apply in this case. Y'all, it took all my willpower not to cuss her out. All of a sudden, her memory came back and now she's aware of the policy? Legal stepped in with, are you saying that you, the manager responsible for enforcing policies, honestly thought that those same policies don't apply to you? Ah, yes. Head of my department stepped in with, to manager, still angry, as F, you were blatantly wrong here. There's no need to try and justify it. This is obviously very summarized, but the gist is there. Round one was a win. 
Next were some of the child frees who shared emails between them and her, showing your standard crappy manager behaviors and lack of accountability. She just kept repeating, that's not why we're here today. It didn't stop them from going on though, this was very enjoyable to watch. Then one of the other child frees asked to speak and let me tell you, this guy showed up with receipts. He spent the entire night creating an analysis, effing pie charts and all, to illustrate how many projects were done by the 13 child frees as compared to the 19 non-child frees. How much time was put in by us versus them. How much vacation sick time was approved for us versus them for the last year. I was shook. His analysis showed that 13 of us did close to 60% of all the work, while 19 of them did 40-ish. Don't even get me started on the rest of the stats. This guy wiped the floor with the manager. I hope he gets a raise, because he's my hero. Her response? The company promotes work-life balance and wants families to have time to spend with each other, so it's normal that employees with kids get time to do just that. I couldn't hold back, and I say, yes, you're absolutely right that the company does that. What you're lacking here is the understanding that family includes other people, not just children. In case you were unaware, all of us have families too. HR interjected with, I believe we have enough information here. The child frees, myself included, were asked to leave the meeting, so they can deliberate, and we were told they'll circle back with us later in the afternoon. Later comes around, we're invited to a meeting. This time, it's all the same people, but no manager. Head of my department apologized that this ever happened, thanked us for doing the right thing and bringing it to their attention, threw in a few company lines about equal treatment, yada yada yada, and told us he will be taking over the managerial duties for the time being. Legal added that the memo is null and void and made it clear that we will not be working those insane hours. In case you're wondering, the manager was offline for the rest of the day. We don't know what happened there, but who cares? We won! Well, good for you, OP. What's fair is fair, and what your manager was trying to do was absolutely unfair. And now you guys won't have to work those crazy hours to cover up for other people. So now let's move on to a very short update that OP has given us just a few days ago. So it's been about a month since the whole situation took place. This will be a short update as I will focus on what the majority who read the original post and update wanted to know. 1. Did the manager get fired? Answer: No. However, she is no longer a manager in my group. She was transferred to a non-managerial position in a different department. 2. Did pie charts stats guy get promoted? Answer, again no, but I hear that the company has a promotions freeze in place until the end of year, so there's still hope. The manager position remains open. I know this isn't too exciting of an update, but I didn't want to leave the story unfinished. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. XOXO. Well, even though it's not the best outcome we would have expected, because the manager should have gotten fired for that crap she tried to pull, I would believe this is some sort of demotion that she got, you know, from being a manager to non-manager. And also the freeze, yeah, that's kind of understandable with everything that's going on, but hopefully Stats Guy does get promoted to be your manager. So all in all, it's a positive, it's a win. And so we've reached the end of the video. I truly hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and click like, of course, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, here are more videos from my channel that you might enjoy. And having said all that, I will see you guys on the next video.